Hello and welcome to another Sideshow First Look. Today we're looking at the Captain Catherine Janeway six scale figure from Star Trek Voyager by X06. Now our packaging does have the slip cover. On the outside is going to be a photograph of the figure, a fantastic painting of all of the characters from Voyager done in a wraparound style here. You're going to have the silver foil with Star Trek Voyager on there. Spin around to show the figure in a pose as well as a description of what's inside the box. Now once we slide the slip cover off, you're going to see that you have the traditional window box showing the figure and all of the accessories. Here on the back is going to be the credits of all involved as well as a QR code that when you scan that, it's going to take you to a video that's going to tell you even more about the figure. All right, with the top cover off, we're going to see our Janeway figure. All of her accessories, the additional hands underneath the figure is going to be the transporter pad display base and connected to the tray itself underneath is going to be this figure data card as well, telling you everything about Captain Janeway. Now let's take everything out of the tray and get a closer look at all of these pieces. Okay, everything laid out in front of you, Janeway in an expertly crafted and tailored Starfleet uniform, the phaser rifle, her black coffee mug, the data pad, tricorder, tricorder case, type two phaser, phaser case, four sets of additional hands. We have the transporter base figure stand. You're also gonna have a swap out plate for attaching it to make it look as one large base with use of additional figures. That way you're gonna use those clips there. You're gonna have a small clear stand that attaches to the base as well. So you can display your Starfleet Museum Archive Janeway data card. Now let's take a moment to look at each one of these up close. First is our compression phaser rifle used by the Voyager crew. This is a beautiful piece all done in that uh, metallic color with hints of red and the black and textured grips. It also has the cloth strap for going over the shoulder of the figure. Right there in the front, you got kind of the sights looking down. There you can see how it is attached. Janeway's coffee cup with black coffee inside. You can see it has that kind of shimmer of black coffee inside. Here's the data pad with custom graphics right there in the front. You see the incredible detail in that one there and a smooth back just as it appeared in the show. Here we have the tricorder, and again, incredible graphics on the front open, and then on the top as well. Now this is a two-part tricorder. It has magnets, as you can see on either side, so you can close the tricorder like so. Tricorder is going to fit inside a specially designed tricorder case. And on the back, you'll notice a magnet, and that attaches to the hidden magnet inside the costume. And the tricorder slides right inside and holds in there firmly. The Type 2 hand phaser with that signature curved handle. Incredible detail. Buttons up on the top. And this is going to fit into the custom holster. And that holster is also magnetic. It will attach onto the figure body in a hidden magnet inside the costume. The first of the specialty hands is the coffee mug holding hand for holding Janeway's black coffee. Next specialty hand is going to be our phaser holding hand. And there is both a right and left version of this hand as well. Next, we have right and left fists. The next specialty hands are these widespread hands, and that is for going over the hips of Janeway in a pose that she was known to take in command on the bridge. The last specialty hand is a left hand that is open, and this is for going underneath the phaser rifle, but will also hold the data pad. The display base is done as a single person transporter pad. Now around the side, you're going to see that this is open and there are small clips that you use to attach additional bases to this. Once you've attached those additional bases, you have this cover 
that will slide underneath and give you that one large transporter pad that we saw on the show. And here's that Starfleet Museum Archive Janeway card. And this is going to be printed on a transparent piece of plastic so the light will shine through. There's a special plastic stand that attaches to the front of the display base to display this card. Okay, here is our portrait of Kate Mulgrew as Captain Janeway with one of her signature haircuts. We see some great detail done in the hair. On there, the bright eyes and the slight upturned smirk. We're gonna have the four command pips that are gonna be on the under shirt. We're going to have it a permanently attached communication badge there. The stitching all around is incredibly tight, clean, straight lines, incredibly tailored as though a real jacket would be done. Now it does have that look of an actual zipper running down the front. This outfit is non-removable. Now hidden inside here on either side of the waist are gonna be magnets. One is gonna hold that tricorder holster and the other holds the type two phaser holster like so. Now they can be adjusted on a slight angle. Working our way down, we've got those trim tailored pants down to the boot. Now these are a plastic sculpted shoe and in true Star Trek fashion, they are going to have that elastic underneath to keep that line nice and straight as that V cut in the front of the pant leg. It is a heeled boot. And there you can see that elastic underneath in those slick boots. Now let's take a look at the articulation of the figure. For our head articulation, it's important to see how it attaches. When you remove the head, you're gonna see that you have kind of this large peg. The neck is gonna be soft and allow you articulation to the side, front, and around. And when the portrait is attached, you have full range of motion side to side, up and down. Move down into the shoulders. The shoulders are going to have the butterfly joint. You're also going to be able to go straight up to the side. For the arm going forward and back, we have a full range of motion, both front and back. Double joint on the elbow and a traditional wrist peg for the hands. You also have a front bicep cut, giving you twist options there. Down to the chest, you're able to turn side to side. You have a little bit of bend side to side and crunch forward and back. We work down into the hip articulation. It's going to be able to go straight out. We'll also go straight forward as far as backward. You have about 30 degrees there. Double joint on the knee. And then for the ankle of the boot, it is going to be a soft roller ball, giving you plenty of range of motion. Now, let's put Captain Janeway in some commanding poses. This has been your first look at the Captain Catherine Janeway figure from Star Trek Voyager by X06. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And make sure to tune in to Unsealed and Revealed, where we're going to take a more detailed look at this figure on an upcoming episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.